Uh, what it was after I broke it, uh, I was already winded. And I see him out my peripheral, and I seen Dane Jackson on the blue team. So I was hoping he hit Dane Jackson out of score, but it happens. It was good to see a big guy like that though, 50 yards downfield. Though, I would think, right? Yeah, uh, Benz though he was a tight end in high school. I, I think he still has the win to run up and down the field still. Quad, did you come into this game uh, sort of hoping to put on a show like that for all the fans who came out? Yeah, I've been just a playmaker just out there making plays. You know, uh, that's what the fans wanted to see. They wanted to see pit football back in full effect, you know, since December. It's been a while. So I was just in my best interest to go out there and put on a show for them. Does the quarterback race stand from your point of view, playing with both these guys right the spring and the fashion with Ben? Uh, the quarterback race is uh, it's going to be neck and neck, you know. Uh, McVitie, uh, Max Brown, they both had a couple plays on the, the blue side of the ball, and you know Kenny Pickett and Ben DiNucci on, on the goal team, they also had some big plays. So that's all going to come down to Coach Watson, who he wants back there, who he has uh, most trust in. I think a departure is what you guys are trying to do going forward with Coach Washington as opposed to what you're doing with Coach Canada. I mean, is it night and day? It looked like some of the same stuff out there that, that we saw last fall. Yeah, it's uh, somewhat similar. Uh, it's not the exact same office that Coach Canada brought in. But, you know, uh, just concepts, changing concepts, you know, uh, changing up formations and stuff like that just to get different people touching the ball and stuff. It's not really a different offense. It's just changed up a couple little things. Maybe a chance, maybe more vertical in the yeah, passing game more, a little bit? Yeah, uh, a lot more vertical in the passing game, though. Trey, Trey Tipton, Jester Weir, you got Ruben Fire, Aaron Matthews, and you got me, Ra Ra, and uh, Maurice French on the inside. So we're just trying to push it vertical and threaten every defense. Audrey, last year you came in a little under the radar. You had the big bowl game, the military bowl, but you really broke out consensus All-American last year. Do you think it'll be tougher this year with defenses trying to focus on you now with guys like Connor gone? Uh, yeah, for sure. You know, uh, a lot of defenses are going to, you know, try to keep me. But, you know, just me being in, in a slot now, playing more inside, I'm going to have to uh, perfect my craft even more, you know, not just be a, a run guy, you know, just Caspers and, you know, reverses around the field. So I'm just going to have to perf uh, perfect my craft in all areas of the game. So, you know, uh, they don't just game plan for me. They got a game plan for everybody. How much of uh, your focus this spring was working on becoming a better receiver or more, you know, refining routes and stronger hands and all that kind of, is, has that been a big focus for you? Yeah, it's definitely a big focus for me, you know, uh, just talking to Coach Sherm, you know, me being on the inside, it's not very new for me because I, I played inside in high school. So, you know, just going, coming into college and, you know, being a flanker last year and then coming into the slot this year, you know, it's, it's not really different. You know, you just got to work linebackers and work safeties to uh, get yourself open. In terms of the offense, when you have a new offense installed and then you have two teams split up where people are playing maybe out of position sometimes, how difficult is that in the spring game? How, how much of the offense do you just kind of take away? Yeah, you don't, you don't really take away offense, you know. Uh, with the draft being the way it, what it was, you know, a lot of people get to showcase their talents. You know, you had a couple starters on defense that were on the blue team, a couple starters on offense that were on the gold team. So, you know, it, it's basically a chance for everybody out there to go out and show what they got because nobody has a, a certain spot on the depth chart. You know, you, you got to work for your position. So this this spring game, with the way with the draft went, it's, it's, it's a good thing. Do you guys simplify the offense anymore as far as numbers of plays you guys would run in a, in a practice compared to games that? No, not at all. I'm sure you've already done this. Could you go through that long run for me one more time? Uh, it was a reverse, and what happened was I was usually about to, I usually cut that up, but I seen uh, Dennis Briggs. He pushed my, uh, one of my blockers back inside where all, all, all his help was. So I bounced it back outside. I was on the sideline. Uh, I forgot who grabbed me. They all had my helmet. None of them had my legs, though. I just kept my legs moving. They all grabbed my helmet. I just, like, snapped my neck away, and I just saw a bunch of daylight. Saw Dane Jackson and Anthony McKee coming at an angle, so I cut back across them. At that point, at that point I was tired. So you know, I seen James Foster saw me another cut, and I was just trying to help me get to the end zone because I seen Dane Jackson uh, trailing me from behind. He just happened to make a tackle. Did Jackson got you. Yup, yup. Oh, was right there with you, wasn't he? Yeah, he was looking at me. I thought he was going to, you know, peel back and hit Dane Jackson. So it's, it's whatever. Things happen. <laughs> Folson's the one who fell, right? Yeah. I, I, everybody keeps talking about. It. I, you know, I'm a uh, straightforward runner, so I didn't happen to look back. Uh, I was, I saw it. I'm ready to. <laughs> I'm ready to get in the film room and see what everybody, what all the hype is about. Uh, I definitely didn't see it. I was just making the cut, yeah. just being a playmaker. Cody, how much more confident, not to say that you weren't, but a year ago at this time, how much more confident are you in yourself? Uh, I'm a lot more confident, you know, uh, just being a, a sophomore last year, seeing finally getting to touch the field, like, cause I really didn't touch it my freshman year. Just being able to touch the field my sophomore year, seeing a lot of things, you know, going into my junior season, 
basically seen it all, so it's all up to me to see God there in place. That said, in the nation, I mean, you're going to be one of those marked men, obviously, on this team specifically. Do you relish that? What do you What do you think of that role? Uh, I don't really think anything of it. You know, uh, I was All American last year. You know, uh, coming into 2017 uh, season, I'll still be Quadri Henderson. I'll, I'll be tagged All American, but it's whether or not I can make that two times or three times uh, going this far. Is that what your goal is to do it again? You, you already were are an All American. What's next? What can you do better? Uh, I definitely want to be an All American again. Uh, I, I want to win the Heisman, you know. But it's, it's all up to me, you know, just putting in the work, perfecting my craft, uh, studying film, and just having faith in my teammates. You know, uh, Coach Powell, he put me back there on kick return. Uh, I, I couldn't thank him enough for letting me showcase my abilities last year on kick returns. So I just thank him a lot for that. Uh, I'm looking for a lot more kickoff returns this year. So the Heisman is something you're really thinking about? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Roger, what's the num number one focus for you from here to uh, September 2nd? Uh, just to perfect my craft, uh, get bigger, faster, and stronger. And that's on Instagram, but just talk.